What's up, everybody? Oh, Dad, you need to adjust your thing. But, Dad, tune in. Adjust what? Tune All in the... from Arizona. Someone, we need to ionize the buffer. Oh, I the got buffer a blue shirt on for him. <laughs> Scotty, strengthen the feed. Strengthen the, we always have to adjust yeah. his because I have to adjust it for mine. <laughs> when I sit there, I have to change it. And then when he sits back, he has to change it back for whatever reason. It picks me up different than you. I don't know why. Somebody explain that to me. You were exposed to more gamma radiation. Is that what it is? When you went through the wormhole. You're not supposed to tell him about that, though. Blue line streaking through the screen, though. Where? Is it on there? Oh, no, that doesn't count. Yeah, that blue just, line, that's oh, just, yeah, no, the, just the... Yeah, that's just the thing. Yeah, see that... You can see it up there, but they can't see it. You're right. So, yeah, no, no worry about that, I guess. No, I guess I got to stop playing drums. Anyway, so we're on bumper three. Bumper three, let's paint it. So I uh, I worked like a lot of hours today. So I just kind of, this isn't a very good edit, but, and it's just painting. Be happy with what you get, folks. Yeah, so, I mean, there's really not anything to explain. I'm just going to hit play you on this. You get what you pay for, huh? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I'm just going to hit play on this, and we just got to talk while it's playing, because okay, I mean, so basically I just wire wheeled everything, it. and then I painted it. You painted over chrome? Yeah, but uh, I guess we could talk about that. The way to do it, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I've done this before. With, you go buy something called self-etching primer. Right, yeah. uh, Rust-Oleum has it. The problem was when I went to Lowe's to get it, they were out. Right. So I got automotive primer. So now I'm doing a test with automotive primer, Rust-Oleum. Well, it's open etched, right? Yeah, and I don't know if it if has a chemical etching process like self-etching primer. Well, the rust spot, you, it doesn't do the rust. I know, it's but supposed like, to be for chrome. Will, like stick, paint will stick to rust. Yeah, there's not enough rust. Until it falls off. So self-etching primer, I painted chrome with it before, and it hasn't, haven't had issues painted plastic with it and it it does really work right so if you're gonna rattle can get that f and do that first well, i've used that on so many things that self-etching it yeah. really helps yeah, it's that, like the bomb it makes it work so especially if you're doing glow in the dark d what did you paint that was glow in the dark my fender on your drink on the one you drive now no on my trailer oh really yeah. why <laughs> That way I can find my trailer with a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> it glows back. I was thinking so you could back it up easy. If you got your fenders glowing. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. And you can see it in the and dark. You can, you can see. <clears throat> yeah. It looks pretty good spraying outside, though. Like the temperature is probably just right for you, huh? No. I think it was cold. Oh, really? I think I pretty much painted the, everything that I painted in the cold. Like, no comment. Uh, uh, at least under 50. Yeah, and I I like hardly ever let the primer dry completely before I put the color on. You know. Is that just like impatience? Yeah, pretty much. I pretty much just like go for it full soon. Want to get it over with. Yeah, so I I don't know what I'm gonna name it, but I might name this one "Watching Paint Dry." That's pretty much all we're gonna do. I just painted the bumper. Right. Like I don't know when I painted. Did you paint the boom. No, and I don't know when I painted it, and I can't find that footage. I think it's still on the camera, and I haven't put it on the computer yet. So I, I probably won't put that footage in an episode. It may just be be, be real. Yeah. Like an introduction sometime. Or just not <laughs> ever. Because, I mean, pretty much, you know, it, this has already happened by this point in the video, but we I painted the hitch. And I'm not going to put that on either. All I did was just take the hitch off and then wire wheel it and then painted it. Which so. was a pain in the butt too, by the way. But well worth it. it. It added such a nice dynamic to the undercarriage. Yeah. Was it a pain? I mean, it was a pain for me. What did you do? I stood there and watched. Oh. And it was a pain for you? Yeah. Probably Were just you getting hit with the wires? <laughs> out of the wire wheel? Yeah, is that when you got the wire wheel stuck in you? <laughs> At some point, Tyler got wire wheel stuck in me yeah he's just walking around he's like oh there's a wire wheel in me and he pulls it out or whatever it was like way stuck too it like i had a barb yeah <clears throat> left a rust mark yeah i'll weird. have to buy the twisted ones next time i didn't know that 
I didn't yeah. know I needed to buy the I thought those were ones. like too tough. I thought that they could like rip the crap out of stuff. Like the I ones that look like a cone it. too. Yeah. Cone. yeah. So those ones. Are, and they twist like this are better than the flat ones because when, right. you're, when you're spinning them flat, the, the little wires will fly out. But when they're coned, you root their, the centrifugal force is sideways right. to the wires more. Look at that. Here it goes for the tire. Yeah, I did the. Is that the wire wheel? Yeah, that's the wire wheel. <laughs> yeah, so a coned wire wheel is a little less dangerous. Right. I mean, I didn't get any stuck in me, so maybe it was just you, <laughs> you know? That stuff does tend to happen to you, you know, for hey, some reason. You I mean, I guess I, I guess I hit myself with a grinder, right. though. And I, hit I, my, I hit my finger with a hammer one day, and that's still healing. I kind of look at it like, you know, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. I'm yeah. like way tough, so. What's the joke of the thumb detector? I hit my <laughs> finger with the thumb detector. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So then I just put the bumper on and basically just put all the bolts back in. Hey, is that that condom I put on the spindle still? No, that's the tape. Oh, dang. I was like, man, that thing's I didn't, real good. I didn't paint the spindle. I just put some masking tape around it. But I mean, you can pretty much see there. It's like... You can't really tell, but I painted that hitch right there. Wait, isn't there? There has to be a number four. We have to, we have to film wire in it and putting the lights in. Video yeah, I, I did all that. Light. So there's still going to be more to this whole build. This is just oh, the yeah. end, oh, pretty much the, the end of the bumper. I mean, I did. So like I said, I still didn't paint the. I missed some spots, so I went and grabbed some foam and just hit them right there. I didn't paint the boom part yet. So the next video. So yeah, then I put all the plastics back on. <coughs> But the next video, I think we're going to do the the failure. Okay. The next one yeah. will be the failure video. And so basically there's a spare tire on one side of the boom, you know, the swing out part. And the other side, we were going to put a a box that was going to hold the fridge. Right. The 12 volt refrigerator. Yeah. So we, so I got a couple of washing machines and cut out the metal you know, the metal around them, and I was going to use that for sheet metal. And we basically built a box out of it, and right. it worked, but it's heavy. it's too heavy. It weighs a ton. And, you know, that boom arm is just a big old lever, right? right? So when it's extended out, it, it worked, and it held it. Right. But it just flexed the bumper just a little bit more than I liked it, and it didn't even have food in it yet. Right. So I was like, this is just going to get heavier. It's just going to rip the bumper off. Yeah, it might right. just, you know. And then, Twisting things. So then I thought, like, what I could do is just reinforce the bumper over to the ladder because the ladder pretty much chills o out over there. But I just decided to go with the box instead. So. Yeah, got a toolie box that we're well known for. Yeah, tool. Trail rated even. Toolbox that I put on there, and I'm just going just gonna to put light stuff in it, you know. So right now I'm just cutting out the plastics, not very well either. I was really impatient by this point. So I just basically went at them with a dull beaver, you know, lots of apprentice marks. Right, apprentice marks that are all my fault because I wasn't there. I didn't yeah, get you off work quick enough to you weren't there to caution it or like, hey, calm down, slow down. Actually, there is more to this because there's like the the little like. Well, anyways, yeah, it's basically done at this point. I just got to paint the boom. Right. There's a little latch thing that holds it closed. But. And yeah, we're so late for the donation of a high lift jack, y'all. High lift jack. Yeah. Send it in the mail. I don't know where we would mount it or traction boards. Traction boards. But I don't even know if that thing needs it. It's got like posi in the rear. Right. I mean, I was pushing a trailer. You remember when I pushed right. that trailer through that sand? <laughs> At Moab, Not it seemed to just go. As soon as I put it in four-wheel drive, it started pushing it. <clears throat> but yeah, you could put the traction boards on the other side. Remember, we're going to put that yeah. whole run amount. We have to put the, the, the awning, awning on. on it, too. Yeah. We still got to do the awning. But it's still a whole other side we could balance out with traction boards, yeah. high lift jack. The lights, I already wired the lights, but I did that yesterday oh, or, yeah? or Monday or something. I That's, can't remember what day I did that, so... Well, I'll, I filmed all that, so we'll put all that in. 
I 3D printed a switch box nice. for all the switches, and we'll put I'll put all that in. So maybe next time we'll do the failure video, and then maybe yeah. the next time after that we'll do all these little accessories, the wiring, the switch box. Yeah, the next the next set of accessories is going to have to be Richard's RV. We're going to have to print him a box, get him the same cool switches. Yeah. Outdoor, living it up. Yeah. He's Parties. Gonna, are you going to film your trailer build? Yeah. So you're, you're going to build a trailer to tow behind your Prius right. that will haul one four-wheeler and you can sleep in it. Yep. See, we got action, so, everybody. Subscribe, tune in, tell your and, grandmas, and send us some money. Hopefully some extra solar panels on it so in the wintertime I can get still get good power. Yes. Yeah. For, for between, between the mid-December and mid-January, the power gets pretty light. I had to switch back to my propane fridge for a while. Right. So get, even get a few in cloudy days, and I was running yeah. out of juice. So you get, is it like just short days down there too? I guess. Yeah, just the shorter days. The sun's at a sharper angle. Oh yeah, that. And I don't angle. tilt, but you know, I'm not tilting my panels. If I thought I, if about I set up like, my panels so they tilt. I'd probably get more more power. I get why yeah. homie puts his on that one side of his rig just so he can like position his whole car. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah in the wintertime you aim that south and then you get the sunlight right. coming in. Right. But I was like, man, why is the sun like really pissed at you, you know? Or <laughs> I mean there, there was one nomad that had solar panels down both sides and across the roof. It must have been pretty heavy. All over the motorhome. Yeah. She she finally bought a new motorhome. Looks better now. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much gains you get out of that or not. But yeah. you know, the other problem is you you have to park your rig in the sun, right? You know, and I mean, I guess you do now with them on the roof too. But yeah, well, that's, there's, there's not many trees in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I'm thinking about not mounting them on this thing when right, I get, when I get them. I could park it in yeah, the shade and put right. the panels out in the sun, and that would be really useful in a truck because it. it gets really hot in there there's no way to insulate it like i could with a trailer right. you know like well i think that we should definitely like do like a an awning thing where you, we're using them to deflect the sun to help keep things cooler well it's like a win-win you yeah know? i don't think i think i'm just gonna do a flexible be good if plan they're permanently mounted in your yard but yeah I think for camping right. you'd want them pretty much on the ground yeah, yeah well, that's what i meant like so if you like did like a tripod uh, like up kind of to keep some of the wind well, i don't know there's lots of options well, i mean really close to the ground oh like way down low <laughs> yeah well yeah, even not even high enough you can put something under them low enough that the wind won't grab them and blow them over right well even keeping them low them. to the ground will keep temperature from going under too so if you used them well, as a you, skirt you well, know you, what i mean yeah well you want it to be cool underneath yeah solar panels hot. like to be right cold underneath they work better that way that's what i mean it'll ask like it act like two-way for them though so that way it'd help keep your rig cool and keep them cool too Keep the sun yeah. off. Well, that's the nice thing yeah. about putting them on the roof is they'll right. shade the sun. But yeah, when yep. you're out camping, you got to keep them close to the ground, or the wind will kip up and flip them, them over and break them. <laughs> Unless yep. you got them staked down, good or something. Yeah, park the tires on them. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if I'll go with flexible or with regular panels, but I think I'm just gonna have them on a cord so I can. If I'm in a shady area, I can just go right. plop them out in the sun over there, and I can park the truck in the shade, right. you know. Hey, Romby, nicer. send some out. Hook it up. What'd you say? Romby. Who makes that rollout one? I don't know. The flexible one? Jackaroo. Know. Jackaroo, probably, Jackaroo, send it out, sucker. Jackery. Probably everybody. Actually, a lot of people that make flexible ones or fold-up ones. or. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if pulled up would be good because like the wind it, might blow. They wear out faster eventually. Let's try them, suckers. Send it out for free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, no, but none of those people watch this show. You know, hey, like I don't know who them. you're talking to. I'm yeah. talking to them. And then I'm none of them know where we are. Manifesting. So like, well, they're like, where are we supposed to send it? They'll, just yeah. like, they'll type <laughs> it in the computer. They'll be like www.youguys. Youguys.com. <laughs> YouTube knows, man. They're, da idiot. They're pulling up my, my credit card number out of my pocket every day. They're like, yo. Yeah. Well, that's you gave them your credit card number, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, I did. So if you just give See, it to them. There you them, go. Now they You gave know. it to them, and you're like, charge me every month. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what you did. <laughs> that is what I did. And then that's what they do, you know? And then yeah. you don't get ads. <laughs> that's, I hate ads. Yeah. I think everybody. They tricked me too much. 
do they make you buy stuff? Well, sometimes like, I think that do shit's ads for real. even work? Yeah, I'm like, hell yeah, sign me up, man. I definitely got kidney disease. I don't think I've ever watched an ad and been like, all right, I'm going to go buy that now that I know of. Maybe the subliminals. My ads are like cool though. They're like got knives and like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I definitely need four knives. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't you guys? You just click on it and yeah, give them your I credit don't card like number. I never bought anything from an ad either. <laughs> really? I do. <laughs> Very rarely I'll go to their website and take a look at what their product is, but I've never bought anything. You want a cool t shirt with your name on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of one thing that I saw the ad and then I'm like, oh, I need that and have bought it in then or in the future or anything. I've never bought, like, yeah. Yeah, that's why I have to get rid of the ads, man. I'm a sucker for them. You just buy like everything. Impulse guy. No soliciting. Also, I should have tattooed on me next. Yeah, I don't think it'll matter. I put a sticker on my door, and I still get those guys okay. showing up. I have to, like, point at it, and they're like, I didn't think that meant me. And I'm like, well, who does it mean then? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I don't even let them off the hook. I'm like, right. what, what are you doing? You know, you got to think about your decisions right. in life. What did you think you were going to get? When you knocked or ding the bell <laughs> yeah, right next to the no soliciting talk. sign. Yeah. You thought I was going to be happy when I came over here? And yeah. I mean, I don't get those guys. Oh, well, yeah. Subscribe, everybody. Yeah. Tell your grandma. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll do the failure episode next time and the giveaway. If, if anybody even wants this thing, we're going to, we'll have a thing. It's kind of like a little bit of an art piece, I guess, ish. Yeah. Subscribe. So, yeah, I definitely know y'all want, want if it. If you want it, you'll, art. what you'll do is you'll just comment in the next video right. that you want it. And then we'll put your, everybody who comments names in a hat and right. we'll draw it out. And right. Live and camera. Then we'll either send it to you. Like if it's the Don, I'll mail it to you. You can send me your address in, in Messenger. Don't put any of your addresses on YouTube or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, not on YouTube. Call Just, us on our phones. Yeah. Everyone has our phone numbers. I'll give you my phone number, Don, if, right. it, if you win it. And if anybody what else, I'll drive one? it to you. This uh, artistic we'll, thing. You'll we'll see talk it about it next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a good night. A Thanks Ford for watching. Ford F-150? <laughs> yeah, Ford F-150. $1,000? Yeah. <laughs>